what a beautiful woman. But what more do you know about this woman of God? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Esther embodied submission. Come on, somebody, believe it or not. She embodied submission. She was a woman that carried beauty. She was a woman that carried purpose. She was a woman of courage. She was a woman of faith. Are you hearing me this afternoon? Are you and Esther watching me right now? The book of Esther in chapter 2 and verse 7 tells us that Esther was a beautiful woman. But Esther was more than just a pretty face. Come on, somebody. Her beauty came with a purpose. Esther was on assignment from God. Are you hearing me? She was a simple orphan Jewish girl, but God used her to save a nation. The scripture says she was raised by her uncle Mordecai, who when Haman planned to wipe out the Jews, reminded Esther in Esther 4 and verse 14 that she may have been made queen for such a time as this. Come on, somebody. God is raising up a lot of you as Esther's for such a time as this. You are coming now to intercede for your nations. You're coming now to intercede for your country. You're coming now to intercede seed for your city. God is raising up the intercessors like Esther in this season. Come on, somebody. It was Esther's faith, her courage, and her heart for God's people that saved the nation, the nation of Israel. The fact that Esther was an orphan did not stop God from placing her in that palace. Come on, somebody. The fact that she was a Jew, that she didn't come from royal lineage, it didn't stop her from becoming queen. And the fact that she was a woman did not stop God from using her for this monumental assignment. So I'm saying to somebody watching me this afternoon. Don't worry about the fact that you're a woman. If God has given you the anointing to save a nation, he's raising you up in this season. Do not listen to the naysayers. Do not be distracted. The Lord has called you for such a time as this. Hallelujah to the Lord.